What is up, everybody? Back with another discography ranking here today, and this time it's going to be Winger. Awesome band that I did quite a bit, and if you're somebody in the past that's kind of dismissed Winger, not really giving them a chance, I highly recommend you go back through and listen to some of these albums and songs I'm about to talk about because a lot of it's killer, and, you know, while that early material can be considered glam metal, which there's nothing wrong with that, um, their music was always a lot more progressive and technical than a lot of those other bands in the same scene. They got heavier as time went on, which is really cool. Top tier musicianship from everybody in the band. You got um, freaking Red Beach on guitar, who is an absolute shred god. One of the best of all time, in my opinion. Kip Winger, of course, on vocals and bass. Great singer. Um, just overall great musician and songwriter. Paul Taylor on keyboards and occasional guitar. When um, Really just depends. Like Currently, I just saw them a couple weeks back. Paul Taylor was doing keyboards when those were needed, but when they weren't needed, he had guitar going. Um, there's another guy named John Roth, who's great, and Red Beach. So they had the trio on guitar, which was really cool, and all of those guys freaking shred. Uh, Rod Morgenstein as well on the drums is fantastic. And as far as these albums go, there are six, and there is not a bad one. So this was pretty tough to put together, but I got it sorted out. Here we go. Now there's nothing left for me to say. There's no way. Starting off the list, the bottom is going to have to be Better Days Coming, their 2014 album. This one is their most recent, and I don't like putting a band's most recent album last, but sometimes I got to do it. This album isn't isn't bad. Just uh, for me, it's the one I go back to the least. There's a couple of ballads on it I don't really care for, but uh, still, the musicianship is top-notch. Some standout songs on it are Rat Race, which is really cool. Uh, Tin Soldier is kind of a slower song that picks up a bit towards the end, which is actually really good. Uh, really good. Uh, so Long China's cool and Storm and Me are some of the standouts, but uh, not a terrible album, but it is last here. Better Days Coming, number six. Next up at number five is Winger 4 from 2006. So this was their comeback album. Before this, there was a 13-year gap between albums. Solid comeback. Um, I really hate to put it down here at number five. I just like the other stuff a bit better. But looking at these songs, some really good stuff. Some kind of heavy stuff as well. Right up ahead, the opening song is awesome. Four Leaf Clover, one of their absolute best songs of all time. Majestic, uh, very melodic, awesome freaking. The way, as I said before, Kip Winger is a master composer here. Just the way the song is structured flows perfectly the guitar playing is amazing from reb just uh almost a freaking perfect song honestly m16 is great uh short flight to mexico is really cool pretty heavy but uh solid album that i would definitely recommend to go check out if you haven't really listened to uh more modern winger winger four number five Coming in at number four is In the Heart of the Young from 1990. Good classic catchy glam metal right here. A lot of cool tracks. Looking at these, some of my favorites I'd say are Can't Get Enough, the opener, which is cool. Loosen Up is a good hard rocker. Uh, Miles Away is a ballad, but uh, one I honestly don't really mind too much. It's not that bad. Uh, Rainbow and the Rose, really cool song. The keyboards are on it are amazing. Um, Kip's voice sounds great. It's just the melody and flow of the song is awesome. Um, In the Day, We'll Never See. That one, really cool as well. Love the chorus. Um, Baptized by Fire, really cool little uh, guitar intro there from Reb, which is freaking incredible. And uh, overall, really good song. Just a uh, little Dirty Blonde, too, is pretty cool. Just a um, good album here that uh, I like quite a bit. In the Heart of the Young, number four. <laughs> Next up at number three is Pull from 1993. Really good, heavy album here. Um, if you were a fan of Winger in the 80s and then went into 1993 and picked this up, you were probably like, good lord, this is a lot heavier than the previous stuff. But uh, as usual, great songwriting, great musicianship. At this point, the band recorded as a trio, Rod Morgenstein on the drums, who was great, uh, Kip Winger on bass, vocals, keyboards, acoustic guitar, and Red Beach shredding it up as usual. Looking at these songs, um, Junkyard Dog is probably my favorite. Really awesome, heavy riff in that song. Uh, Blind Revolution Mad, Down Incognito, Spell I'm Under, In My Veins. Just really good, uh, consistent album here. 
poll number three. Coming in at number two is Karma from 2009. So a pretty modern album here, but it's definitely deserving of a high up spot. Really awesome stuff here. The mood and atmosphere of the album, pretty dark, very heavy and progressive. The production's amazing. Top tier musicianship from everybody in the band. Looking at these songs, uh, most of them are great, but you know, Pull Me Under, definitely my favorite on here. Possibly my favorite winger song of all time. Just amazing opening riff. Kind of reminds me of classic Judas Priest, to be honest. And uh, kind of a little bit like later on in the song, maybe halfway through, there's a part with Red Beach and John Roth where they're just freaking shredding in perfect harmony. And it's just amazing. Go listen to that for sure. Uh, Deal with the Devil is really cool. Stone Cold Killer, another awesome heavy one. Uh, Come a little closer has such a great catchy chorus. Just great song. Supernova is awesome. Uh, Feeding Frenzy, uh, Frenzy, another really good one. Just uh, awesome album here that I highly recommend, especially if you want some heavier stuff from Winger. Go check out Karma. It is my number two. And taking the number one spot has got to be their 1988 self-titled debut album. Killer stuff here. An absolute classic. Uh, Top to bottom. Great songs everywhere. Red Beach shreds it up. The production on here is amazing. Kip Winger's voice sounds awesome. Just great songwriting. You know, looking at these, Madeline, the opening track is great. Hungry, I think, is really awesome. 17, probably their biggest hit, which has a scorching, amazing guitar solo in that song for sure. Time to Surrender is another one of my favorite Winger songs of all time. Definitely top five. State of Emergency, really good underrated one. Headed for a Heartbreak is awesome. Uh, Poison Angel, another great underrated one. Just absolute classic and as you can see right here that is an autograph from red beach i met him about two weeks ago when i saw them in concert and you know super cool guy winger put on a great show and this album they played a lot of songs from it and uh y'all know why because it's great my number one self-titled debut and um that does wrap up the ranking as usual i would like to know what y'all thought and give me your rankings of winger's discography in the comments till next time thank y'all for watching